Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Long Dark, where we are here with the Grey Mother inside of her home that I am increasingly frightened has a whole bunch of corpses hiding in the corners. And we have a new mission to try to do our best to help her and ourselves survive. So, we actually do have a mission to go and stock the Grey Mother's fridge with food and to fill the Grey Mother's firewood bin outside with firewood before we actually leave. I suppose Mackenzie just cannot leave an old blind woman who might be the last survivor in Milton, especially after we ran across that frozen corpse. So I could understand that he's just got a good heart and just wants to make sure that everything's going to be okay. Let's see, can I actually make myself some frozen snow? Alright, let's see what else I can do here. Ah, I can probably go ahead and actually cook. Is it just going to be cook? Ah, the rabbit. So I did pick up a rabbit on my way over here. And I mean, better to have the rabbit than to have nothing. I'm not really sure what to do with the guts. Can be used for crafting and repair after air drying indoors for five days. Awesome. Yay, I guess that's going to make some good rope. Ugh. And sorry, little bunny. But let's take just a moment since we're in here. We'll harvest up everything we've got. Might as well. Clean the rabbit up. There we go. Is there anything left? The meat, maybe? Harvest a little more of the meat. And the hides. Nice to let the time kind of go past, you know? Alright, and then that actually gave us some more guts, and it also gave us some rabbit meat that we can go ahead and cook. If she had everything taken from her... There we go. Did I run out of water? I probably let it go for too long. 19 minutes until melted, 36 minutes until ready. Let's see if the Grey Mother has more to tell us. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. Hmm. I'm sure... Someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? Mm. I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. That's... This goes deeper than just a stillness. That's really potent. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Wow. That sounds a lot like maybe something to do with the electromagnetic storm that destroyed our plane. Do we still have more time? A little bit more time? Alright, Grey Mother. We have some time to pass while the what rabbit really cooks on the here? open fire. Seems like people were here recently. Where are the others? Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? Mm. People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, mm. like you. Did anyone see a woman? Just all last night. Brown hair. It seems so weird that so jacket, many people would disappear all at once. Scarf with birds on it. Possibly injured. I remember a lot of details about her. Was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and. <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Oh, voices. so. She did I remember the voices and I Astrid. couldn't get them back. Interesting. All right, so there was somebody here. Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? Do you remember what happened? Gray, misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. Windy. Blizzard was already waking up. Well, I guess. But I heard yelling. A scream. No. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. 
The voices were thin, mm. far. The blizzard was waking up. Soon there was only wind and darkness. I don't know. So, I don't remember. So. It's all cloudy now. And I mean, it's not like she would care much about what's going on here. All right, let's see. Got a bit of water to drink. That's good. Let's make sure we keep that can with us. And we have some rabbit to eat. I can only hope that I'm sharing that with her. Let's go ahead and cook the other rabbit. And then might as well get a little bit more potable water. There we go. And then while that's happening, she seems to be getting a little tired. How do I head outside? How do I get out of the Grey Mother's house? That's the question. Can I make a torch, maybe? I can't even find my way out of this woman's house anymore. Fireplace. No, just add fuel. I guess no lit torches in the house. Oh, there we go. All right, so we are gonna wanna go ahead and fill up the firewood. I'm really glad that I brought as much as I did. Alright, come on. There we go. Firewood bin. We have some reclaimed wood. And then, how much do we want to fill it up? Let's try transferring 13 of those. Maybe a bunch of the sticks I've been hauling around. And does that help at all? So I guess we want to get it up to 12. Okay. So yeah, stock the firewood bin outside with up to 12. So I think I've got enough fire, enough sticks that I've been hauling around to do that. Um, maybe a few more. Let's go see if I can find anything else that we can take in. And I really hope that nobody comes to get me. More stones. My only weapon of choice, it seems. No credit union. Mm. Is that a rabbit? It is a rabbit. Okay. So I can gather up some rabbits if we need. Where are you going, little buddy? Dang it. Um... There's a dog somewhere nearby that somebody left behind that I think is hiding over there. I can't tell where it's coming from, but it's definitely eating the rabbits. Okay, let's see, can I go in here? A uh, post office would actually be a great place to gather a whole bunch of resources if I could. Do I have any light sources? I have a flare and I have matches. Mm. Mm. But the post office is probably a great place for that. Let's risk it with one match. Okay, hopefully I can gather enough to make this worth it. Please, 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 please. Have anything? Okay, Thank good. Goodness. Soda, book, cardboard box. Break it down. Requires light to break it down. Ah, dang it. All right. Oh, I'm so nervous and I can't see anything. All right, quickly, quickly. Oh my, ah, okay. Match went out. I'm gonna use up my matches if I'm not careful. Post notice, chair, search the trash can, come on. Search this trash can. Cloth. Okay, trash can's now empty. All right, let's go ahead and get my stone. Because I think that there's going to be... 
Whew. Something nasty coming out. Alright. So, let's see. Let's see, review the map. I'm over here. The Grey Mother's over here. We want to gather up enough wood to be able to stay alive. And there's a gas station further down and a church that direction. Alright. Is this a trash can? Yes, but I don't think... Or like a mailbox, I think. I'm gonna want to have the gun probably to fight off that dog. All right. And I guess I could try to hide from like a dog or something in here, but I don't think that would be a good idea. I think that you would want to go ahead and try to fight for your life. Cause then you're just kind of waiting them out. All right, let's grab these stones. I'm probably going to need to fill up the fridge with rabbits, aren't I? There's a wheelbarrow. No good using that. This place is pretty useless compared to the woods. And it's a lot heckin' creepier, that's for sure. What's that? What is that? All right, let's search this car just to be thorough. Let's see. Nothing. All right, I'm ready to smack a foolish dog in the head. I can hear the wolves. There's a lot of sounds, but that doesn't mean that's a bad thing. It just means there's a lot of sounds in the forest. And some of those are the birds waking up. I can actually hear what I know are morning birds. The kind that only start up once the sun begins to rise. That'll make my life a lot easier. Wow, it looks like all of these trees burned down. Were they harvested? Oh, thank goodness, sticks! I was beginning to despair if I would ever find any more sticks. I guess that's kind of... and I think every stump and sign is a wolf. But I guess that's kind of appropriate. Because this is a human settled place, so... Not terribly many sticks to use. I think I heard a morning dove. See? Yeah, lots and lots of sounds to hear. But, oh, just throwing, throwing stones at sticks, that's fine. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing. This doesn't have to be a sign of the end times. I'm so glad the sun's rising. Porta potties. Hatchet, huh? Oh, thank goodness. Some fur firewood. More sticks. We'll go fill up. All right. I really hope there's not a frozen body inside these. Can't even search them. Okay. Anything over here? Doesn't look it. But I have at least a bit of firewood now. Oh! You thought you could get away from me! Did you stick? Don't think so. And when we start getting a little colder, I might turn around and go back to her. Let's see. Might as well grab this branch. Looks like I survived another night. Huzzah! I will take surviving another night. I am an obsessive stick collector. That seems to be my new career. Surviving the night by becoming obsessive stick collectors. But hey, these sticks translate into staying warm. And I think I can put my rocks away for now. I might regret that, but I know how to sprint. And I gotta have both hands for sticks right now. Especially because I dropped so many of my sticks earlier like a fool. How heavy is it getting? I've got room for more stuff. Alright, let's break this down. I think we'll head back and bring all of our sticks with us in just a little bit here. Because if I find anything really good 
in the gas station, I may not have enough. And I'm getting too cold. I may not have enough to be able to carry it back with us. I could have sworn I saw light coming from the gas station though, so, hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's wiggle this way. And what do we have here? A deer! All right, lady, you're gonna need to hand over that gun if you wanna live. Let this be safe, let this be safe, let this be safe. Holy! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No panic. Can I have that lantern? Oh, I just took his lantern. He's got cardboard boxes. The man has bounty. So much bounty. Can I grab anything else before? Okay, we're gonna grab a few more things. Oh, a can of peaches. Yes. Okay. We're just gonna casually pick those things up. Uh, and, uh, you know, just, just make sure that we've got... Hello, sir. We'll talk to him in just a minute. Crackers! There's actually food over here! Oh, oh, this is, this is, I've never been so happy to see jerky and soda in my entire life. There's even, like, a fridge that apparently has nothing inside of it. Um, oh, wow. That's kind of disturbing that this stuff hasn't, like, rotted. Oh, this is fantastic. This is great. Oh my gosh. There might even be loot in the bathroom? I have never been so excited. A broken metal door. And I can use hacksaws to break that apart. Never been so excited. A second bedroll. This is mu this must be where he like chills and just relaxes. Oh, sir, you have a glorious bounty with you. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just casually sneak some of these candy bars. Uh, before we go ahead, a tin of coffee creates five cups of coffee. Who knows how long it's been sitting here. A drink can take the edge off fatigue and warm your insides on a cold night. <gasps> All right, we're getting pretty close on carrying around a lot of stuff. So I might like drop some of these guts. Um, and are we wearing these worn fleece mittens? I am indeed wearing the warm fleece mittens. Um, uh, eventually a source of knowledge for some, for now something to burn while you're freezing with the book. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And we might want to drop things like the book. We might want to sort of sort through what is like the heaviest out of everything we're carrying. Yeah, we can actually sort by weight. Wonderful. Also, stones are apparently really heavy. I probably don't want to be carrying so many. Oh, wait, that's because I have so many stones. <laughs> All right, we will figure it out, guys. But I am excited. Coffee and jerky and a new guy to talk to next time. So if you guys could do please leave a like for finding more candy bars that will hopefully keep us alive for quite some time. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay warm and stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.